Hey there, welcome. In this mini med lesson video, I'm going to show you how we do deep tissue suturing, specifically how we close deep fascial layers using absorbable suture. This is especially applicable in the operating room, but is sometimes needed for complex deep uh, lacerations that might come in in a patient who's experienced a significant trauma. Please take a minute and hit like, subscribe, follow along so you get a notification when I release new videos. But let's dive right in. All right, so you can see here we have our uh, incision. Um, and for this, uh, for the sake of this video, we'll say that we're in the operating room and that there was uh, some surgery done, maybe a, a, a laminectomy of the, the lumbar spine or something of the sort. And in this uh, scenario, I want to just talk about, quickly review our, our anatomy here of the skin. We've got this uh, most superficial layer is the epidermis. Deep to it is the dermis, and then we have subcutaneous fat. And then this strip down here is representing fascia, and it's actually a more, uh, much more sturdy substance. Uh, and then below that is um, the red in this is meant to simulate muscle or just deeper tissues. And so uh, for the sake of this video, we're not going to be doing any deeper suturing, intramuscular or anything like that. We are specifically going to be focusing on closing this fascial layer because as we're closing from the depths and coming superficially, we will want to make sure that we close those major layers. We need those fascial layers to be uh, tightly bound together so that the, the tissue heals properly. So for this video, let's talk about closing those uh, deep fascial layers. Now, in this case, you would use an absorbable suture. Most commonly, we're going to use something like Vicryl, uh, depending on how, <clears throat> excuse me, depending on how uh, much tension there is and how gaping this is, uh, we might want to use something rather large like a 1-0 vicryl or an, even an O vicryl, but most of the time something like a 2-0 vicryl will probably work just fine. For uh, the sake of being able to see this against the subcutaneous fat and that white fascial layer down there, I'm going to be using a darker suture that's simply just a nylon, but in real life we would be using an absorbable suture like Vicryl. So how we close these, these uh, deep fascial layers, we're going to load our needle in the usual fashion. Now oftentimes with these, I actually will maybe, uh, especially with this first throw, first pass through the fascia, I might choke up a little bit more rather than, you know, when we're doing a skin level closure, oftentimes I will have my needle, I'll bite the needle way back near the, the, the backside of the needle. But in this case, I might do something more in the middle and you, you'll see why as we get going here. All right, so let's go for it then. So in this case, I want to use my, my pickups here to grab a hold of that deep fascial layer that I'm going to be suturing. And then rather than like we do with simple interrupted where we start superficial and then go deep, in this case, we want our needle in the end to be buried in the deeper layers. And so we're going to start with, we're gonna start deep and then go superficial. Okay, so I'm going to grab a nice good bite of that fascia. With my needle, I'm going to slide underneath the fascia. I don't want to grab a whole bunch of the tissue below it. I want to grab as little of that as I can so that there's still some mobility of that fascia from the tissue below it. And then I want to go ahead and grab a, a, a pretty good bite. Now, when I'm coming up uh, superficially through that fascia, notice how I've got a good bite on that, that fascial layer, and I don't want to grab a lot of this subcutaneous fat. It's going to be pretty difficult to not grab any, but you want to grab mostly fascia with a good strong bite like that. And then we're going to unclick with our needle driver and then go ahead and pull it through the rest of the way like that. Okay, now when uh, we go on the other side, we want to have our needle loaded in a downward position because we're this time we're going to go superficial to deep so that our tail in the end is also deep like this first tail that we've started. Okay, and I want my tails to be on the same side of the loop that I'm going to create. That becomes important because we don't want to lock the knot over the loop. So on this side, I'm going to get a good look and I want to be straight across the wound, straight across this laceration so that it's perpendicular. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab a good strong bite 
of the fascia on that side as well and try to get mostly just the fascia without the other tissues. And then we're going to go ahead and unclick with our needle driver and then pull this out. Now, when you pull this out again, like I mentioned just a moment ago, we want to have our needle and our tail be on the same side of our loop. Okay, see that? So I've got both my needle and my tail on this side and my loop uh, coming out in one direction. Now it doesn't matter which side it's on, you just want both tails to be on uh, the same side. If they were on other side, the opposite sides of each other on that loop, as you tie it, it's going to lock it and actually create a gap between the, uh, the fascial layers there, which can inhibit healing. Okay, so you want both on the same side of your loop. Now in the operating room, we're going to generally be using Vicryl, a dissolvable suture. Okay, you, you always want to be using a dissolvable suture. Vicryl is the, the most common kind we're going to be using for uh, closing deep fascial layers like this. And in that case, the needle would be generally a pop-off needle. So you'd be able to pop the needle off and then just have two tails without a needle. And then that's when you would be able to just go ahead and do your hand tying technique to close this to tie that nice and tight. If you uh, need some assistance with learning how to do those hand tying techniques, please check out my other videos. I have multiple videos on different ways of tying surgical knots with your hands rather than with the instrument. Uh, for the sake of this video though, because I'm using a, uh, a nylon suture for the sake of being able to see it a little bit better against the, the subcutaneous fat here in this video, I'm going to go ahead and suture tie this so that I can keep my needle there. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, instrument tie this. Now, unlike other instrument ties where you might pull across the wound this way, you don't want to damage these skin edges. You can cause little microscopic damage to the skin edges. So rather than pulling it across like this, let's go more, uh, let's go with the wound this direction. Okay, so we're gonna do, uh, there's our first throw, pull it nice and tight. Notice how it pops loose a little bit. That's okay. Just make sure that you keep a little bit of tension there. When you go for your second one, pull it nice and tight because that's where you're gonna get a good strong lock with your knot because that's your first, uh, first actual I kind of broke the suture, get that out of there. Uh, first actual square knot. And so I'm going to do, uh, you don't wanna usually do uh, a ton of throws, although some surgeons will prefer to do, you know, a whole bunch, especially if you're hand tying, cause you can do them so quickly, but at least four good solid throws and give that last one a good tug. Now, because we did this technique with the, uh, initially uh, deep to superficial, then superficial to deep, and then tied our knot. Notice that if we zoom in a little bit here, you can see that our knot is actually on the bottom side of the fascia, right? And what we can see here going across the top is just one layer of suture, but because our knot is on the bottom, it pulls those fascial layers, uh, two sides of the fascia together, uh, nice and tight, and our knot is buried. Now, when we cut this, we want to be nice and careful because you don't want to cut your 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 loop, and then obviously uh, you don't want your not your tails very long either. So we're going to slide down there, try to get right on top of the the knot, and then generally we're going to turn our scissor like that to try to, and that can push the knot out of the way a little bit sometimes. And you're going to cut it as close to that knot as you can without cutting the knot. And then notice that even just a little bit of massage, our knot is can't see or not really. There's a tail of the knot, but it's it's going to go down into the depths there and our, our, our knot is buried, okay? And so we would do this in each of these layers, uh, each of these spots on this uh, incision closing, you know, uh, maybe every uh, half a centimeter, three quarters of a centimeter or so, pulling those fascial layers together to close the deep fascia. So let me do another one. I'm gonna do this one a little faster with a little less talking um, to show the t technique one more time. Again, we'd be using uh, an absorbable suture like Vicryl. And so I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna get a good, a good bite of the, the fascia layer that we're suturing. We're gonna go deep and then come out more superficially trying to grab 
mostly just the fascia and not a lot of extra tissue. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, except we're going to do the opposite where we're going uh, superficial to deep. Superficial, just on the grabbing just as the fascia as best we can without a whole lot of the other tissue, but a good bite of the fascia, making sure that our needle is on the same side as our tail when we're pulling it through. Ooh. Go ahead and pull it out the rest of the way. And again, you wanna make sure that your, your tails are on the same side of your loop. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and tie this one again. Again, in the OR, I'd probably be doing this with hand tie, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do a quick little instrument tie here and pulling down the length of the incision rather than across the incision to minimize damage to the skin edges. And we're gonna pull that nice and tight Fascia is, uh, you're, you're not as worried about strangulation of fascia as you are when you're closing skin edges. The fascia layer, you want it to be really nice and tight, as tight as you can get it for the most part, um, so that there's um, good strong closer, closure of those different tissue layers. All right, and then when we go ahead and cut, we wanna be down nice and close to that knot, but you don't wanna cut your knot. And there you go. All right, so in this case, we would uh, do uh, generally do another uh, suture right here, another one here, and then a few down in this area too to pull all of the full length of that fascial uh, opening closed. Uh, and then we would be done with that deep tissue layer closing the fascia. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please again, hit like, subscribe, follow along. Really helps me out. I hope that you find my other videos on my channel helpful as well in your study of medicine. Feel free to leave comments and check out my next video. Thanks.